Hello friends, welcome to Tech Beast, your dose for technology bytes. Today we are going to learn about FBDI, which is the file-based data import and its usage in Oracle Cloud. So we'll do a small demo uh, in the inventory module and we will add on hand to an existing item and see uh, through FBDI and see how it works. So let's get started. So we are into an inventory module, if you can see in organization 001, and we are on the manage item quantities page. We've chosen one item, uh, which is AS65001. And if you can see the on-hand quantity for this item is 30. So let's try to add uh, 10 more quantities for this item through file-based data import, FPDI. So we'll, we'll look at a template of that. So I have already downloaded this template from Oracle. So if you can see this is an Excel template for file based data import. And then you have this item and we will add transaction quantity is 10 here, which needs to be uploaded it into Oracle Inventory Cloud. And once you add this data, this row, you go to the first tab and click generate CSV file. Once you click generate CSV file, it will get downloaded on your computer and you, you will be able to access that once you start using the file-based uh, data import in Oracle. So let's go back to the application. So we'll go to the hamburger icon right at the top left. Click on the hamburger icon go to tools and click on schedule processes. Once you click on schedule processes, what you need to do is you need to click on schedule new process button here and search for load interface file for import tab out and click on OK. So once you click on OK, you need to click on the import process, which is create inventory transactions. taking a bit of time here. You can go in the search down there. Try to click. Yeah, select this create inventory transactions. Click OK. Then choose the data file which you have already imported on your computer. So once you once you're done, you need to click the submit button. And once you click submit, a process ID will be generated. Since I've already done this step here, uh, you can see you know the process ID you can search through the so screen and it will show the status. So initially it will be in the pause mode, then be running mode, and finally it will get succeeded. So once this is done. You again need to go to the schedule new process. And this time you need to search for the job, manage inventory transactions. Tab out. You can see the description change that means it is accepted. Click on OK and then click on Submit.
make a note of the process ID. Come back to the screen. Give your process ID number and click on search. So if you see that the status is currently in pause mode, so we'll keep on clicking the refresh icon until it gets completed. Here you see the process succeeded. Now we need to navigate to the inventory management again. So let's click the same hamburger icon. Go to inventory management. Click on the task panel here. And then click on manage pending transactions. So as you can see here, it says error transaction summary. Okay, so we have just tried to upload some record. So there seems to be some error on there. Let's click on this error transaction to see what it is. And if you can see here, extreme light, I think there is an issue with what is being provided in the UOM. So I think let's, so here the error says that the value provided for the UM code attribute is invalid. So let's try to fix this. We need to go back here. And click the edit icon. In the edit icon, we need to pick up The correct UOM for this. We'll search for the UOM and select it because this was seems to be missing here and that's the issue. Click on save and click on save and close. You can actually click on save and close and that would have worked in the first instance. And then click add all to process schedule. Once this is done, the next step would be to again run the ESS job management inventory transactions. So we need to go back to tools and schedule processes, schedule new process, click on manage inventory transactions tab out click on ok and click submit again we can see one process id here copy that click on search And if you can see, I think it looks like this has already succeeded. Status shows that. So now what we need to do is we need to check the on-hand quantity, going back to the inventory and see whether it has changed or not. So let's go back to inventory management. Go to the task pane, click on manage item quantities. and choose your item here yeah this is your item so let's copy that and do a search So now you can see the on-end quantity is increased by 10. So earlier it was 30. 
when we started this demo and now it is 40. So the file based data import has worked fine. So it's an easy way to, you know, create transactions, upload data into Oracle by using a template. Just create a zip file, run some scheduled processes, and you can see the data is imported into Oracle. I hope you find this demo useful and it will help you in your learning of Oracle Cloud, especially on the Oracle inventory management side. Thanks for watching this video and we'll keep you posted on my next video. Thanks again.